When Joe Biden came to power in 2021, he promised to revive the Iran nuclear deal. His plan was quite simple, ditch the maximum pressure policy that Donald Trump pursued and quote unquote, bring America back. That was Biden's plan. But three years later, the US is no closer to Iran. The nuclear deal is still off the table and there is still hostility between the two sides. Washington is trying to change that and that too silently. Today, the U.S. made a decision. Six billion dollars of Iran's frozen funds will be released. Six billion. This will facilitate a prisoner swap between the two countries, Iran and the U.S. Is this the beginning of a U.S.-Iran detente? Here's a report. Iran and the U.S. have been at odds over a lot of issues. There's the nuclear deal. There's the U.S. military presence in the Gulf. Then there's the killing of Qasem Soleimani. The two sides usually don't see eye to eye. But now they're on the verge of a historic prisoner swap. At the center of this deal is Qatar. They're the ones mediating this deal. So how will it work? Of course, both sides have some demands. Iran's demands included access to its frozen assets. And it looks like Washington has now relented. The U.S. has allowed the release of $6 billion in frozen funds. Secretary of State Antony Blinken signed off on the waiver on September 8th. After that, the U.S. Congress was notified about it. So, does this mean that the U.S. is wiring money to Iran? Not really. Tehran won't have access to the funds directly. The funds are currently being held in South Korean banks. They'll be moved from there to a bank account in Qatar. Iran will be able to access it from there, but only for food and humanitarian needs. Qatar and the US will oversee this. According to sources, the money transfer was the trickiest part. The US had to make sure it did not bypass sanctions. So the idea was to give the responsibility to Doha. They'll make sure that Iran does not spend the cash on sanctioned items. But now that the money hurdle has been crossed, it's time for the real deal, the prisoner swap between the US and Iran. We confirmed that Iranian authorities released five US citizens from prison to house arrest. Simak Namazi, Murad Tabaz, Imad Shargi, and two Americans who wish to remain private. Most have been in prison since before this administration took office. One has been held for nearly eight years. None should have been detained in the first place. Five U.S.-Iranian dual nationals could be freed from Iran. A similar number of Iranian prisoners will also be heading home. Prisoners from both sides will transit through Qatar. There's no confirmation from the U.S. yet. So, no details on when or how the five Americans and five Iranians will be swapped. But reports suggest it will happen soon. We are optimistic that the prisoner swap with America will happen in the near future based on the agreement we had. Of course, the move met with some backlash in the US. The Republicans called the money transfer a ransom payment. While the Biden administration acknowledges that they're making difficult decisions, they say that the priority is bringing Americans home. Plus, it could be a huge win for Biden ahead of the 2024 elections. So, does this mean that US-Iran tensions are cooling off? Well, it is a moment of rare cooperation, and the two sides are engaging more, especially on things like the nuclear deal. But will the quiet diplomatic push work out for both sides in the long run? Only time will tell.